Skip time. Continue to three months later. Name your biodome. Death Dome. Hello, everyone, and welcome to another, or a, sorry, a new episode. Yeah, we'll get that right eventually. Of Taito Ecology. This is a game where you make an environment. Uh, depending on which kind of uh, ecosystem you want to be. You've got Cretaceous, so that is dating from 70 million... Oh, it says right there, 70 million years ago. Or you can do Alaska, Himalayan, Great Plains, which are more modern day times. When you've got the opportunity to recreate a dinosaur ecosystem, why else... Why would you want to make anything else? So that's precisely what we are going to do. I haven't been keeping uh, tabs on this game. I've seen it. Um, but you know, they put dinosaurs in the game, so uh, what do you expect? We're gonna cover it. <laughs> yeah, so we need to get the basics. Welcome to Taito Ecology. I'm Owlbot, and I'll be acting as your curator for your biodomes. Here you can grow and maintain your very own ecosystems. It looks pretty empty now. Yeah, I uh, know, I'm started yet. I'll be home to all sorts of plants and animals soon. Let's take a look around. Ooh, interesting. We seem to be like boarded off. That's weird. While moving around, hold shift to move faster. Very good. Right click to rotate the camera. Ah! <laughs> Scroll wheel to zoom in and zoom out. Can we only build in this bit for now? Zone is locked. Okay. For even more control, use Q and E to change the elevation. Oh, look at that dirt. Ooh. Take some time to look around your biodome. Ah. It's like being in a huge polo that's been licked. And loads of- oh, I tell you what, that's a huge polo. <laughs> when you're ready to move on, press OK. Adding life, you're able to add many cool animals and plants to your biome. You will be able to unlock and learn all about all these species over time. Let's try placing down your first consumer. Consumer? Or like a customer? A consumer is an organism- or org- or, or no, it's not that. An organism that gets its energy by eating plants or animals. In other words, it consumes. Use your impact points to place a con Oh, so we have points. That's how- Oh, we got 100 out of 100. Okay. So, uh, oh no, hold on. So here it is. Here's our consumer list. So right now, we have- Well, we have one. And that is a fern. Oh no, hold on. We got animal. Here we go. Ooh. Protoceratops. Do I click and drag it? Click on the terrain to place the territory. You can drag while clicking to adjust. Release to load list. Is that good? I don't know if that's good. Oh, wow. Oh, okay. Oh, whoa. all right. Well, it has a huge range. Set. Am I making seven of them? Herbivore interactive place. Go on then. And there it is. So we have one. Oh, no, we have seven. They're all slowly spawning in. So these are protoceratopsids. Or protoceratops. One of, I think, one of the first ceratopsians? It's got a fluffy tail. <laughs> Walk cycles could, of course, use with a little bit of work. But this is an indie game at the moment, so everything is always going to be worked on, I think. I don't know anymore. Click the X button to close out of the menu. Oh, okay. Right, the actual X. I was clicking X on the keyboard. <laughs> Territories. You have placed your first consumer territory. Animals will only move around within their territory. Try viewing territory information by clicking the territory. Blah, 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 blah. Boring. We're going to work by clicking and placing things. So we're going to click on this. We're going to click on leaves because it needs leaves. So, wait, what? Can I not place it? Oh, click on the Protoceratops territory marker to see the info. Right, we're still in the tutorial. Uh, click away to close it. Click on one of the protoceratops to see the moving around. Sleepy! It is a herbivore. It is one year and 32 weeks old already and it is a little bit hungry. When you're ready to move on, press continue. Place a producer! Well, um, that one? That good? Place. Place. So we have, we have some grass? Ferns! That's right, because we didn't have grass in the Cretaceous period. It was all ferns. There were no trees. Or there were trees, sorry. There was no grass, I think. Place three fern groups. Okay. Uh, one. Di oh, look at them go! So happy to see some vegetation. And place. Oh, it already is going for it! Nyam nyam. <laughs> Check for improvements. You have placed your first producer. Your producer up should be much less hungry now. There we go. Beautiful! Check the Protoceratops' territory. Alright. 
Uh, ooh, d d Deterius, level one. Deterius, now you have, what, what? Now that you have a new inhabitant in your biodome, be careful about Deterius. Deterius is another word for waste, such as dead leaves, bones, and poop. Allowing too much Deterius, in other words, crap, to build up will harm everything in the ecosystem. So we're gonna need something to take care. Ooh, green thumb Cretaceous Mongolia. Ooh, we got an achievement. So now we need something to feast on those. So mushrooms. Mushrooms can grow in... Oh my god, the mushrooms have a huge territory. Oh my goodness. There you go. Good old mushrooms. Decomposers. All right, your decompo decomposer will consume some deteriorates every day, but only from the plants and the animals within its territory, which is the whole bloody thing. If your biotome starts creating more deteriorates, then your de decomposers can handle. You'll need to add more decomposers. So it's a balance, basically. Congratulations, you now understand the basics of maintaining an ecosystem with all three elements, producers, consumers, and decomposers. You can also take photos as you watch your ecosystem expand. Let's try taking one now. Okay, um, press G key. Uh, ooh, snap and share, neat. Oh, did I, t did I take one when I did that? Did it, did it freeze time when I did that? G. No? It just sort of hi. Do I take a picture? I, I don't, am I supposed to click G again? <laughs> Lord knows. Fast forward. Speed up your time. Okay. Pause and resume the ecosystem. This is an average of the health of your biodome. Everything. Oh, everything. Everything's great. There's no water. Oh no. Hold on. There is. There is. We probably should have placed them by the water, shouldn't we? Does grass need water? Skip time. Continue. The three months later. Name your biodome. Death dome. <laughs> Let's begin in Death Tome. <laughs> Beautiful. So, what do we have here? Population 18 out of 30. Uh, health, deterioris, occupancy 7. Zero juvena ju juveniles, 22 weeks until reproduction. Oh, so we're going to have babies soon. Okay. Right, well, it's about time we had something to kill those buggers. So, let's go on to consumers. Unlock one. Oh, we have to unlock them? Can we do that? <gasps> there you go. Okay, we only have 44. So, can we go along? What do we have? 60. Sauralophus, Scalamimus, Dinocerus, uh, Overraptor, Nemgentosaurus, Tarbosaurus, and Therizinosaurus. Finally, you've survived a week. Just 51 more of these and you might have an achievement that's actually impressive. Oh, you little buggy. Maybe I don't want to play it anymore. Hold on, we can unlock uh, Dinocherus, Omnivore Lodge. Hell yeah! Hell yeah! Make that! Can I place it? It's an Omnivore. Place. Is it, is it like, oh wow, just like that! Okay, how many did I make? Oh, well we got giants, so they need some things to eat. Um, does it tell me what they eat? Okay. I can only place ferns. All right, uh, we're probably gonna need, I'm sure you guys eat ferns, right? Of course you do. Who doesn't eat ferns? Okay, and also let's place some uh, mushrooms. Okay, we're gonna need, we're gonna need quite a few mushrooms. Place, place there. And there we go, just like that. Have you got a mushroom on your head? Oh, you're sleeping standing up. Oh, that's impressive. Hold on, I want to have a look at you. Oh, that's cool. Oh, okay, okay, something just knocked me. I think it was the uh, the mushroom bubble. So you're asleep. What's the other one doing? Are you also sleeping? Oh, so you are. Hold on. We can click G to take a screenshot, I think. 97% uh, hungry. Okay, let's have a look. Uh, deterius level 1. Uh, deterius level 1. Fungus is 30 out of 30 for population and 14 out of 30. So we're doing great. These guys seem to be okay. So we look at the biodex. Size, lifespan, reproduction is pretty low. Uh, biodome, diet. Dinocharis is thought to have been an omnivore. The shape of its skull and length of its necks, uh, its necks, it has multiple, would have been ideal for scooping up plants. It may have competed with Therizinosaurus for high foliage, though the shape of its bill would have allowed it to eat more aquatic plants, which Therizinosaurus could not have easily have eaten. Fish scales and gastroliths, or ga gastroliths, a stone that some have before swallowed to keep up with their digestive tract to aid in grinding down the food, have been found in the stomach of regions of the fossils. In your biodome, Dinocharis will eat fish and very small animals. Okay, so we're looking at rats. 
Um, I don't even know if we have fish. Can we even get fish? I don't think we can. Hold on. Uh, so we got flies. We got a pollinator for plants. Okay. Uh, there is little ones there. But as far as I'm aware, there are no fish. Okay. So we, we kind of need to... Oh my god. Trees? It costs to unlock trees. Oh my god. Why would you spend your points? I guess you kind of have to though. Like the better, better the tree. Oh, are you dead? No, are you sleeping? Are you, are you just resting? I hope it's not dead. Please don't. Okay, we, we're, they're resting everywhere. They got a big, um, a big widespread. T oh, hold on. Replenish. Fish population 50 out of 50. So we do have fish. Although they're not worth our time. <laughs> Apparently. Okay. I was going to say that water doesn't look too realistic. Not going to lie. <laughs> yeah. But it seems like this game is focusing more on the uh, gameplay rather than uh, sort of like finishings like that at the moment. Oh my god, he's racing in for the ferns! Or is he going to eat a protoceratops? <laughs> you can have whatever one you want, mate. You're the, you're the big boss around here. You're the big boy. Look at all of them. I like how ferns don't have a habitat. The mushrooms do. But the ferns don't. In fact, actually, we've got... We've got a bit of a fungi, a fungi problem here. So I'm wondering how we, t tell you what actually, we have velociraptors, don't we? I unlocked, it costs 60 for a velociraptor. Okay, this will be interesting. Do we have enough for velociraptors to eat? Or will they just get killed by the uh, Dinocheros? You know what, maybe it's, maybe at this point in time, we just got to focus on keeping these guys happy. There we go. We're making a lovely garden. And with this music, oh, it's so nice. Press spacebar to rearrange the plants. Oh, okay. There you go. Spent a lot on this lovely garden. Deterius 1. Leaf 150. Is not pollinated. This plant is always flowering. Okay, so... Ah, uh, right. So certain flowers we're going to need to pollinate in order for them to reproduce or be edible. Flowering status. Oh, okay. So there's quite a bit to go into this as well when it comes to... um. Friggin' plants, too. That's something I've, I've got to admit. No game I've... Uh, oh, there you go. Are you eating the uh, the fern? Let's have a look. <gasps> it is. Look at it. It's leaf's going. So, when I place down a fern and it gets eaten, is that it gone? Again, more questions I should already know the answer to. <laughs> ah, go on. Let's place down some velociraptors. <laughs> I'm going to place them over here. And see just what happens. Now, they should... Technically, feed on the protoceratops. Oh, I've earned it. Oh, my monthly income of six. Oh, beautiful. Now, I kind of want to see how these guys react. Two years, nine weeks old. Well, this one just buggered off straight away. Now, what I want to know is will the Dinocheris, the Dinocheris, this thing, will it kill it or will it not? Look at everything when it spawns in, it just runs and then goes straight to sleep. Yeah, they're both asleep. God damn it. Well, I'll tell you one thing. One thing. We can definitely uh, unlock some different type of... No. No, we can't. Never mind. Hmm. Well, to tell you something, the raptors don't seem to be doing anything. And the protoceratops seem to be okay as well. So what I'm going to do... Is put in more protoceratops and move them like to the same location about there and then place more okay can i not right okay they have to they have to be close okay so place them there so we're gonna get another seven protoceratops here um i want to place two more raptors over here as well and we're almost there for lightning so we'll place two more raptors. So that makes four raptors and 14 protoceratops. So that should be more than enough. And plus, if the raptors are really hungry, there's fish in the water. So we'll place, well, there's already a raptor pack there. We'll place another one there. And there we go. So we're going to have, we've got four raptors at the moment. <laughs> they really just look like chickens. <laughs> yeah. All right. Congratulations! Place five animal territories in your biome. Try not to let them starve. I'm gonna try not to. 
Oh man, I got loads of stuff for that. Okay, so we're gonna have... I'm gonna spend 20 on rats. Because apparently the... You know what? Both of them. Maybe the raptors can have some rats as well. We'll put, we'll put the rats... Like, in the middle, so they're sharing territory with raptors, even the fungus, so that's okay. So we'll place some rats in. They only cost 25, let's place another another set of rats right there. Oh god, the fish! They need replenishing! Ah, it's fine, whatever. <laughs> It'll be okay, they can eat each other. Uh, so now we want to go on to plants. We can unlock the platanus! Let's unlock the platanus! And that costs 25, now that's a big bloody tree. So, I'm wondering... Termites. Deterius. There's lo oh, you get loads for that. But that's ten, so you know what? We'll save up for a tree. I was like, is he holding a banana? No, it's just a protoceratops running underneath. So, yeah, we'll place the tree. One singular tree! Place. So, that's great. No, no, that's not what I wanted. There it is. 24 weeks until pollination is needed. So we're gonna need something else to pollinate it. And unfortunately, the only pollinator I've got is the Zangzofid. Zang, Zang, Zangzofidia, which is 30. So I feel like the tree may die. I've wasted all this coin on it. So if that's gonna be the case, I am gonna switch back and we're gonna place down a few more ferns. That should do. And, uh, yeah, let's see these rats. Oh, well, there's one. How many rats do, do I place down one? Okay, there's a rat. There's a rat here as well. <laughs> well, how many other? Insectivore. Oh, no, that's an insectivore. Okay, so if we do make flies, then that thing can eat it. Oh, well, of course, that's gonna eat as well. I'm an idiot. Okay, so... They may go extinct. Um... Because the Protoceratops can eat the ferns and possibly the tree, as well as the Dinocheris. Uh, the rats are eaten by the Dinocheris. Um, they're also, the rats are eaten by the raptors. But the rats have got nothing to eat off, and also the tree has nothing to pollinate with. And you see, just like that, the entire food system is going to fall apart because I don't have flies buzzing around me trees. That is the world we are living in today, so... I need 30 coins, or uh, 30... Oh, what's this? A group of fish has low population, no! Uh, 60 and... Oh, is that it? Have we just got one, one group? Yeah, okay. Ah, uh, fish is alright. 60 to... To get them back, so... But you know what? No, eat the rats, it's fine, it's fine. The rats only cost me 25. Fish is gonna cost me 60. To be honest, I bet the raptors have been eating them. Hold on, 94%. 94%. 87% and 87. Do they eat fish? I don't know if they would. Well, actually, you know what? They should eat anything if they're carnivores, right? So they might eat the fish. Well, it seems like they eat everything except for, for fish. Even down to insects. Which I do not have. Um, now I'm wondering if they're going to actually go and eat the rats. I don't even know where the rats are. Hold on. Rat. He could, he's anywhere in this circle. Is that him? No. That's a protoceratops. Oh, hold on. Oh, there they are. Ah, oh, they make little cutie noises. So your only purpose is to die. I'm sorry. We don't have anything for you to eat. Fish population is low. Still nothing I can do about that, unfortunately. Okay, we, ha we have quite a few rats here, actually. Hopefully they'd never need to eat, but they can constantly reproduce. That would be great. But look how tiny those rats are. Ah, you just got like, strut like strut on, trot on. <laughs> Stood on and trot on, strut on. Wait, is that a fish? Oh my god, we actually have fish. Are they dying? Oh, hold on. Replenish. There you go. Lots of fish. Beautiful. Right, that cost me a fair ton. Right, so every month I get like 10 coins. And I'm gonna need a lot more than that to get the bloody flies. Ooh, things are eating the tree. Oh, that's great. 
It's lost some of its leaves. Good, 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 good. That's like precisely what I wanted to see. Now more ferns! Hopefully my little uh, protoceratopses can uh, breed. How old are we? How old? One year, 34 weeks. So we're getting there, getting somewhere. Look at all the rats. All the rats down by the lake in pairs. Except for you. You don't, your partner, you don't have a partner. All by himself. Uh, Velociraptors, are they okay? 81 and 87%. Okay, well, they haven't decided to eat anything just yet. So the raptors haven't been on the hunt. I'm guessing they might eat the little ratty things. And if push comes to shove, maybe the protoceratopses too. But hopefully not, because they cost a lot. <laughs> 47 weeks until reproduction. And what about this? 24 weeks till reproduction and 16 weeks. So, that, oh, we're going to get even more protoceratopses if we can survive. What about you? 65 weeks and the rats, 13 weeks. So we're going to get rats and protoceratopses three weeks apart from each other. So a month-ish. Ooh, babies. That'll be interesting. My first Zalbat... What the hell is that? Z Zal... <laughs> Zalabalistas! God, that's a weird name. Doesn't just roll off the tongue now, does it? Oh, hold on! Oh, 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 no! Oh, he got him! No! Oh, wait, no, he's running away. <laughs> What's his health on? Okay, it doesn't say. Is he dead? Oh, yeah, I think... No, no, what's he doing? Did he die? He's still got a hunger, so... I don't know. Okay, here goes the raptor. Is he gonna get him? Oh, yeah, that looks like he died. Yep, lost all his health. So, velociraptors are on the hunt, and they are killing the rats. Great. Well, that's kind of what they were there for. I didn't want the velociraptors to attack the protoceratopses. And for the sake of what? Like, how much did the rats cost? Like, 25... Oh my god, you're not- f are you still hungry? Okay, do not attack the protoceratops. There's plenty of rats. Go on, go on, go get the rat. Oh no, 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 god damn it, I got rats for you. Jesus, you killed them. You mean little bugger. Recreate, well, you didn't, you didn't die though. He's got 100%. Oh, oh, no. 100 meat points. Three weeks until DK. Till DK. DK. <laughs> He's a leader of a bunch. Well, there you have it. I didn't want that to happen. I mean, there was a rat right next to him. He just decided, you know what? No, this time I'm, I want blood. All right. Well, that was not three weeks and he's vanished. So, well, Death Dome is certainly uh, living up to its name. That's for sure. Oh no! Another one was killed. So we only have... We've got six in that one and we've got four Zalmadistes territory. But to be honest, by the time they go extinct, then I can afford to buy more. So that doesn't really... I feel like this game wants me to keep these these like places balanced. Oh no. No, no, no. No! Ah! Oh, God damn it! Another one! Jesus! These Velociraptors! Murderous little buggers, aren't they? So we've had two rats die and two of these protoceratopses die. Yay! Awesome! Eight coins this time. Well, we're getting close. That's 13. I need... <laughs> I need 30 coins to get some damn flies. Never thought I wanted flies this badly. We could get termites, but... Yeah. Can you... Can termites be eaten? I don't think so. Oh, it's eating the tree! Oh, awesome! Nom, nom, nom. Eat the tree. And then straight back to sleep. Wow, these guys they do not move much. Leaf is not looking good. Two, 20 weeks old. Well, 20 weeks until population. That's one game I, have, I can't say I've ever played a game where I worry about the trees growing old and, re and bloody populating. Deterious. There you go. Another tree right next to you. How about that? Can you not pollinate from the other one? No? Okay. 
Little murdering, thieving buggers, you. Yeah. Oh my god, the amount of Zs. So many sleeping out like mice. They're all dindins for these things, though. There you go. We'll make a wall of trees to protect the um, Protoceratopses from the Velociraptors. Or at least, you know, to give them some sort of protection. What are you doing down there? Run back to safety, you fool! <laughs> you fool! That's right, run straight towards the Velociraptors. Yeah, go on. Bugger off. Off you go. Go on. Wait, are you, are you hungry? Oh, here comes the kill. Which rats are you gonna get? Bah! <laughs> oh my god. Oh, there's already like a little rat skeleton over here. <laughs> Oh, what? Look, you can freaking throw the whole family's there and he's eating them in front of him. <laughs> they don't even seem to care. Is that fish bones? Are they eating fish? Is that what the rats do? Yeah, he's like, oh, whatever. <laughs> he didn't like him anyway. <laughs> oh, that's not good. Wow, they probably tore that tree apart, didn't they? 41? It's almost dead. Are you really that hungry? Was it? It was this one, I think. No, 99% hunger. Jesus, you tore that one to shreds. Do trees grow back health? 41 out of 200. 124 out of 200. And 200. Oh, isn't that interesting? Okay. We have a, a, a ton of mice over here. For some reason. Are they nesting? But they're out in the open. That's They're all going to sleep in the same spot. That's weird. Oh, they're sleeping next to their dead friend. Because there's like a little skeleton there. Oh, that's so sad. <laughs> oh, I think they are. There's two of the exact same skeletons now. And that was where the other skeleton was. Where the other one got killed. So yeah, it must be. That's where the, there must have been two killed in that exact location. And they're sleeping there. Well, guys. Oh, no. No. Oh, God. They all ran away. Oh, look at them scurry away. <laughs> Another one dead. <laughs> yeah, look. look. There's the other two skeletons, and there's another one dead. They just don't learn, do they? Oh, it's like they mourn, though. That's so sad. Well, guys, on that note, that bombshell. Oh, God. And another protoceratops. I think. Oh, no. Hold on. Is it still alive, but it's sleeping? So, or is it sleeping? Is it playing dead? Because I'm pretty sure he just attacked it. And then was like, nah, you know what? Nah, <laughs> he's asleep. I'll let him live. Unless he's seen something else to eat. No, no, just, uh, just didn't decide. Oh, now Z's are coming out of him. So he was pretending to be asleep because now he's properly sleeping. So that's it. Playing dead. Oh, God. Off he goes. Oh, no, he already got another rat. Wow, we are losing so many rats. So many, and I was, I was about to wrap up the episode with so much drama going on. Rats killed, bloodshed everywhere, another rat going to pay his- Oh wait, they are! Look, they go, like, sleep and drink next to them. That's so weird. So weird. Well, anyway, guys, I'm gonna wrap this up here. Uh, if you want to see more, leave a like. I mean, if we do continue with this, there's plenty to do. Like, there's loads of other di uh, dinosaurs to get. We definitely need those bloody flies, though. And then there's that like, Gallimimus, Sorolophus, uh, Overaptor, Nemgatosaurus, which is some sort of sauropod, Tarbosaurus, and of course, the most expensive, which is Therizinosaurus. To be honest, I shouldn't have spent all my money on these huge Dino Cherises. Uh, because they, they bloody do nothing. I suppose that's in a, it's a good way, I suppose. And all they do is really eat trees. And they don't cause me much hassle like, um, like these guys. But really, the main goal of this game is to make, um, some sort of ecosystem that you can balance out. So the carnivores balance out the herbivores. The herbivores balance out the trees. And then you got the fungi to balance out all the crap. <laughs> so if this is something you're interested in, it is on Steam now. I don't think it was too expensive, I've got to be honest. This was a DLC add-on, I think, for £4 or £2. It wasn't too much, not gonna lie. So, again, if you enjoyed it, leave a like, and until next time, I'll see you later. Bye!